good evening friends today i welcome you all for this live session very interesting and life saving topic a 18 years old young boy had massive cardiac arrest and we have saved him from the death within 5 seconds here i want to show you how we have said what was his complaint previous history 18 years old guy had mild chest discomfort 6 months back and i did all the cardiac evaluation i prescribed some basic necessary medications to continue with the periodic evaluation he continued the medicine for next 2 months after that he stopped taking the drugs what i have prescribed again the day on sunday morning he developed severe mild chest burning sensation then by the evening time it continued to increase in intensity he called me sunday evening by 7:30 o'clock he asked about his history and medication he said he stopped the medication after 2 months then i told him to come to the emergency department immediately there i went while examining the patient the patient suddenly collapsed within 5 seconds while talking with me then i did cardiac dc shock 300 joules his rhythm was ecg you can see so monomorphic ventricular tachycardia due to acute coronary syndrome there is no st changes we are not able to see the st changes the first ecg before this ventricular tachycardia the first ecg was showing mild peak tvs followed by within 5 seconds within that ecg he developed ventricular tachycardia then we cardio reverted and started anti arrhythmic drugs amiodarone 300 mg bolus followed by infusion 1 mg per minute continuous infusion then within half an hour we have the distance between the emergency department and the cardiac cath lab almost 200 feet only before shifting the patient and alerting the team emergency team he developed almost more than 10 times ventricular arrhythmia ventricular tachycardia then we continued to give dc shock asynchronous dc shock continuously 320 joules 320 joules then we reached the cath lab and alerted the team i do took the patient for urgent angioplasty to save the life here we'll see how the angiogram pictures here you can see the left coronary system the heart rate was almost 130 per minute you can see the femoral approach we took this patient for catheterization left main is normal and the lad type 3 lad osteoproximal almost 99% subtotal occlusion in this case if we don't intervene immediately if we don't take the patient for urgent catheterization urgent revascularization patient could have died within 10 minutes it's a very common death particularly in younger population sudden cardiac death is a very common in younger population than elderly people later i'll explain what is sudden cardiac death it's a left coronary artery lad osteoproximal as i said before it is 99% circumflex is normal then before putting the stent we have to see the right coronary artery status the right coronary artery is dominant and it is completely normal there is no mild plaque or thrombus in the right coronary artery then we decided to put stent and i took guiding catheter 6 french xb catheter and wire guide wire bmw 0.14 pocket distal to the lad artery and then stenting was done immediately almost we covered 
near that left main ostium, distal ostium to LED proximal. We covered the entire length. In this case particularly, we didn't cover the distal left main ostium because the ulcerated plaque thrombus is found in the osteo or proximal only, most of the time proximal. There is no any plaque or disease or calcium in the distal ostium of the left main. That's the reason we left. Sometimes covering the ostium of the left main will have a future progression of disease very quickly. That's the reason intentionally we avoided and covered almost a two-third of osteoproximal LED. The strength to what we took, the size is 3 into 18 millimeter drug coated stent. The entire procedure took only half an hour. And the final result you can see, the final result, there is no slow flow or sluggish flow or cessation of flow post stent procedure. Here you can the distal LED is filling normally, there is no residual or clot obstruction in the distal part of the LED vessel. Important point I want to mention. In acute coronary syndrome, in younger population, nowadays is very common. Almost 5% of the acute coronary syndrome, that is called premature coronary artery disease, it starts between 18 to 40 years of ages. In this age, the, nowadays the present younger generation are vulnerable to get premature artery disease, coronary artery disease. The reason for the premature coronary artery disease, the risk factors. Important risk factors, number one, smoking. Even with the maximum awareness program, maximum precaution, maximum advertisement, social media, warnings, the younger population, some percentage of younger population continue to smoke cigarettes one pack or more than one pack per day. They were not able to control the smoking. Now, two, lack of exercise. The same way, they are not at all bothered about the importance of doing regular exercise, daily exercise. Number three, unwanted food, untiming food. Important and healthy food is very important. Before, we have discussed a lot of healthy food in the previous videos. You can go through the, our videos, previous videos in Ipcot TV channel. Then, fourth, inadequate sleep pattern. They are not at all sleeping in night time. Everyone should go to bed at least by 11 o'clock in the night and morning they can wake up by 6 o'clock. Or else, minimum they need 6 to 7 hours sleep at night time. That's very important. Whether they take sleep in daytime or not. That is, however, the risk factors is completely modifiable in younger population. If they are anxious diabetes, they need to be careful in controlling the diabetes. If they are hypertensive, their hypertension should be kept under control. If they have abnormal lipids, all the lipids, important lipids, especially triglyceride cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, total cholesterol, and apolipoproteins should be under normal limits. That's a very important. For that, they have to undergo periodic evaluation, including lipid profile, inflammatory markers, 2D echocardiogram, stress test, and the means treadmill test. That's very important. Okay, let's see the sudden cardiac death is very common due to sudden rupture of the plaque. They may develop ventricular arrhythmia or ventricular fibrillation. If it is not intervened in time, in seconds, the patient may die. That is the reason for sudden cardiac death. Almost all over the world, particularly in the US, United States of America, every year, 7 lakh people die due to sudden cardiac death. Overall, the world population, almost we can say, 1 and a half crore people die due to sudden cardiac death. The male and female ratio 3 is to 1. More males are affected than female. That's very important. So take care of your heart. 
by this timing intervention we have saved one young boy life now he is doing very well now he is he doesn't have any restriction he can happily have a married life and he can have a children he can have a normal life with periodic evaluation very important because the implant and stent should not get any restenosis in terms of non modifiable risk factors in terms of not controlling the risk factors so risk factors should be controlled and treated early this is a way to keep our heart in a healthy condition thank you very much for watching equat tv subscribe equat tv for more information regarding heart if you have any doubts regarding sudden cardiac death or heart attack in younger population you can write your questions below the comments box we are ready to answer as seriously we receive your questions thank you friends bye bye